Hi, Francoise. Um, it's Al from the upcoming. It's really lovely to speak to you. Congratulations on this fantastic new instalment of this. Thank you. Um, so this time round, we see D'Artagnan having been knighted by the king. So what does that change for you in terms of the story moving forward? Yes, actually, I remember during the scene, I was thinking about what it does to D'Artagnan, of course. Uh, I was preparing for the scene and I felt like I'm being knighted next to my brothers. Um, and I feel like it's it's a symbolic act, but I think I was a, I was a musketeer prior to that. And, and I felt like I was being the brother the whole first film. So, so it's a thing for him because he went to Paris to 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 be a musketeer. But then he found love. He he found those men that are now uh, his brothers and stuff. So, it's 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 only symbolic. Um, obviously, Milady, who the story is focused a lot on, she plays a really big part with you. I mean, she kind of part seduces you and then becomes this warrior who fights you as well. And you have these amazing scenes, these action scenes, sword fighting. And there's this particularly poignant one where you're fighting fires together. It's just, wow, it's amazing. What is that like to work with Eva Green in that role and, and kind of bring that to screen? I mean, it was a blessing. Um, <laughs> maybe you, you got to talk with them, with uh, Eva. She's such a lovely person in real life and um, such a devoted actress. Um, so. Getting to to watch her craft was uh, to me as an actor amazing, and to share these scenes also, um, and also because we had to to play between several things like um, we have kind of a violent relationship, but also there's love involved, a desire. So it's a, it's a whole package, and um, with Eva, you, you never know what, what what to expect between action and cut. So so to 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 be always on on my toes was uh, something really thrilling actually obviously how did you feel when you got the script and realized that you probably weren't going to get your happy ever after with constance <laughs> yeah i know we're spoiling a bit but but it's okay um i remember <laughs> I, I read obviously the 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 two scripts uh, prior to the shoot because we shot the whole thing in in one big shooting um schedule so i knew what was going to happen uh, in the second one and that i was going to to my quest was to to find her again uh and we know we know the end of this story uh mm -hmm. so that that made um, a huge uh, weight on what we had to do in the first one that's why we were really cautious to to really um try to get those the scenes uh between constance and me and lina coudry uh, uh, is such a talented actress also and um we get to really um i think show um a beautiful and clumsy and and uh and pure uh, kind of first love in the first film so that the audience maybe wants um to to see us together again in the second one and what do you think makes this series so unique um you know because obviously there's been quite a few adaptations of the musketeers but this has felt so gritty and has so many layers what do you think for you makes it so unique i think it's um it's uh there's several things um D D Dumas writing obviously uh, it's like uh, two centuries ago uh and it's timeless and it's still uh, really relevant in today's society so themes like um the arcane i don't know if this word is uh, i can say this in english but the the, the back stories of the politics uh, all the manipulation um the themes like love loss betrayal uh troubled past um, things really still are uh, relevant today, I would say. And then, yes, those characters um, are timeless in a way. Uh, well, thank you so much for speaking to me today. Uh, thank you very much. Thank and you. I hope everyone enjoys it as much as I did. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.